Longings for Home by Walt Whitman, read for LibriVox.org by Laurie Ann Walden. O oh, magnet south, O oh, glistening, perfumed south, my south, O oh, quick metal, rich blood, impulse and love, good and evil, O oh, all dear to me, O oh, dear to me my birth things, all moving things, and the trees where I was born, the grains, plants, rivers. Dear to me my own slow, sluggish rivers where they flow, distant, over flats of silvery sands, or through swamps. Dear to me the Roanoke, the Savannah, the Altamaha, the Pedee, the Tombigbee, the Santee, the Coosa, and the Sabine. O oh, pensive, far away wandering, I return with my soul to haunt their banks again. Again in Florida I float on transparent lakes, I float on the Okeechobee, I cross the hummock land, or through pleasant openings, or dense forests. I see the parrots in the woods. I see the pawpaw tree and the blossoming tie tie. Again, sailing in my coaster on deck, I coast off Georgia. I coast up the Carolinas. I see where the live oak is growing. I see where the yellow pine, the scented bay tree, the lemon and orange, the cypress, the graceful palmetto. I pass rude sea headlands and enter Pamlico Sound through an inlet and dart my vision inland. O oh, the cotton plant, the growing fields of rice, sugar, hemp, the cactus guarded with thorns, the laurel tree with large white flowers, the range afar, the richness and barrenness, the old woods charged with mistletoe and trailing moss, the piney odor and the gloom, the awful natural stillness. Here in these dense swamps the freebooter carries his gun, and the fugitive slave has his concealed hut. Oh, the strange fascination of these half-known, half-impassable swamps, infested by reptiles, resounding with the bellow of the alligator, the sad noises of the night-owl and the wildcat, and the whir of the rattlesnake, the mockingbird, the American mimic, singing all the forenoon, singing through the moonlit night, the hummingbird, the wild turkey, the raccoon, the opossum, a Tennessee cornfield, the tall, graceful, long-leaved corn, slender, flapping, bright green with tassels, with beautiful ears, each well sheathed in its husk, an Arkansas prairie, a sleeping lake, or still bayou. O oh, my heart, O oh, tender and fierce pangs, I can stand them not, I will depart. O oh, to be a Virginian where I grew up, O oh, to be a Carolinian, O oh, longings irrepressible, O oh, I will go back to old Tennessee and never wander more. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.